Welcome to the second installment of the Talga Football Review here with Coach Bobby Carr. Coach, we played Coosa Valley this past week. Uh, what do you think about it? How did the game go? Well, it was a good game. I thought uh, it, was, it was finally good to get everybody in the game and uh, uh, everybody got a little experience and uh, felt like we got better as a team. That was the most important. Like I said last week, I, you know, our focus is getting us better each week, no matter who we're playing. Absolutely. Uh, talk about the offense. I know uh, we only ran nine offensive plays, uh, kind of a very unusual type of game, but how do you think the offense played as, just as a whole? Yeah, I mean, first half we had, had six offensive plays, scored five touchdowns. Uh, you know, Tripp was six for six and uh, completed six passes to six different receivers and five of them were, of course, touchdowns. So, so it was good. Uh, it was good to spread it out. We've got a lot of weapons, and uh, that's the thing we're trying to – instill and teach our kids uh you know we got to learn to be selfless players and do what's best for the team and and you know cheer for cheer for your uh for your brother next to you absolutely uh talk about the defense i know we you know we had our first shutout uh this year i know they played pretty well i know the coosa valley offense wasn't as dynamic as what we've seen the past two games uh just talk about how they played yeah i thought they played good everybody was saying we still had a few miscues and mistakes and had a few few too many penalties i think uh, uh for the game our defense allowed a total of 17 yards, but we also allowed, I think we had 60 yards and penalties on defense. So those are definitely things that we can improve on. No injuries, of course. I mean, I, I, did we come out unscathed? Everybody played? Uh, anything on the injury front? Well, yeah, well, we had uh, Elijah Elmore's got a hematoma on his leg. So there's a, he's probably 50-50 this week as far as playing. I think uh, we'll try to hold him out, but you know, we'll play him if we have to. I got you. Uh, now let's go on to next week. We got Springwood coming in, first home game this year. Um, what do you think about them and Coach Gartman? I got a lot of respect for Coach Gartman. Uh, he's done it the right way for, for a number of years. In fact, his dad, uh, Robert Gartman, uh, he's one of the, uh, probably one of the best coaches to ever coach in the AISA. Uh, a lot of respect for him as well. But, uh, you know, Coach Gartman was the uh, defense coordinator for Escambia the last two years when we played him. Uh, so uh, we're very familiar with, with what he does, and, and uh, obviously he's from familiar with what we do as well. So it uh, should be an exciting ball game for us. Uh, what do they run on offense, and what kind of what key players do they have on their offensive side of the ball? Well, he does a little bit of uh, some veer, and, and he runs some wing tee as well. Uh, that's what he's always done in the past offensively. Uh, you know, defensively he's going to run a 3-4. Uh, he'll, uh, you know, mixes coverages up, does, does a good job. Uh, they've got a couple skilled guys. They got a couple really big linemen. One, I think, one kid that's got it, maybe an offer or two. So uh, that'll be a challenge for our guys up front. Uh, defensively, same old defense is what they've been. You know, you're running. I think a, a 50 front or a 3-3 stack. Uh, pretty sound defensively. Pretty good defensive coach. Yeah, that's, like I said, they're going to be sound on the defensive side of the ball. And, and, you know, they'll be in the right place. We, we just got to do a little better, better job of executing, and we should be okay. We had two players of the week this week. Uh, we had Trent Camp and Trip Carr. Uh, yes. Trent Camp on the defensive side and Trip on the offensive side. Talk about Trent and just how he played uh, this past game. Well, I think Trent. You know, one thing we try to instill in our guys that we want we want them to do the little things right every day, and uh, that's the one thing Trent does. If you want to experience the big things, you got to do the little things right. And and Trent shows up every day with the right attitude and he always works hard. And I've always said, if you give me 11 Trent Camps on the football field. It'd be it'd be tough to beat because, like I said, he does does it the right way and he does it every day, not just not just on the playing field on Friday nights, but Monday through Thursday, and uh, also in the weight room and his conditioning, uh, and it's really paid off. I can tell he works works has worked really hard over the summer to get where he's at now. Proud awesome. of him. Awesome. All right, now going to trip somebody that you know very well uh, had a really good game. I mean, six for six, about 260 yards, five touchdowns. He was the the the, the, the division four. Uh, player of the week uh, for the National Private School Association. So, uh, we think about how he played this past week. Trip did well. You know, that's one thing he and I talked about. Uh, you know, is spreading it out to to our all of our receivers, and you know, he did exactly what we talked about. We wanted to get at least everybody on the offense a touch or two, and, and of course, six different players touched the ball the first half and came away with five touchdowns. But you know, Trip's a, a special player. Everybody knows that. I think the thing that he has an advantage over other quarterbacks uh, that he's maybe compared to is he's like another coach on the field. He understands the 
the game as well as any quarterback I've ever coached. And that's a big statement because I've coached a, a number of quarterbacks. Um, you know, and his ability to extend a play with his feet if the pocket breakdowns is probably his his biggest strength. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm extremely proud of his efforts and hopefully he'll continue to want to work hard and want to get better. And and, and at the end of the season, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll both as a father son walk off that field, you know, one last time. Awesome. Um, some upcoming events that we have going on. I know we got our first home game this week. How you feel about that? Just finally getting back yeah. home, been on the road a, a good bit. So we finally get to come back and stay at home and not have to travel this week. Yeah, we're excited about having our first home game. I, you know, hopefully we'll have a big crowd. I know I know one thing, our, our, our fans have really supported us. They've traveled really well. So we expect a big big crowd Friday night and looking forward to uh, to a, another, another great Friday night. Well, some other upcoming events we have. Uh, next week, we're actually going to do something called Rolling with the Generals. We're going to do an in-depth look at the operations of the general football team and, and how we kind of go about our week. Coach, how, you want to kind of talk about that just a little bit, just to kind of tell the, the fans what they can expect to see just on a day-to-day -day basis in our, in our program? Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll just – that, that and, and, and I'm okay with doing that because I think a lot of what people assume is we're just out here drawing up X's and O's and plays, but – there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, you know, we have a system uh, and, and it works. Uh, and I mean, I'm not just always talking about football. You know, somebody, somebody asked me what it was like, you know, uh, you know, coaching, handling quarterbacks over the years. And I said, you know, it, it, to me, it's not, not coaching a quarterback. It's, it's, about, it's about coaching a future father and a future husband and, and, and you know, people that are going to make a difference in this world. And that's the things that we try to instill in our players. Uh, so I think that'll be maybe exciting for people to maybe see a different side of just football here. Well, stay tuned for that. Uh, this is going to be our second installment of the Talk of Football Review. When we come back, we'll have Trent Camp and Trip Carr visit us right here on set. Stick around. All right, welcome back to the Talk of Football Review. We have Trip Carr here. How you doing, Trip? Good, how are you? Good. Um, Offensive player of the week this week. Um, how was the game? Coosa Valley, I know, was a, you know, didn't get to play a whole lot, just nine plays. Actually, you only played six, I believe. Yes, sir. Um, so just kind of tell me about that. What would you think? Uh, it was our first region win, but I thought we did pretty good. Uh, line blocked good. Receivers made plays. Defense played well. I had a shutout. Always like to get that. So I thought it was a pretty good week. Receivers run good routes, made good throws. Yes, strong arm. Um, just elaborate a little bit on what helped you play well you said offensive line didn't have much pressure this week uh, yes, or this past week uh, just just talk about how they've been playing how they've been kind of coming along as a new five from what you had last year you know last year all five of my offensive line were seniors they graduated so we're a little inexperienced up front but fourth game getting to the middle of the season they're getting a little bit more experience getting better each and every day so and obviously receivers are really good make plays athletes make me look a little better Awesome, they always do. Um, one more question. Let's talk about Springwood. What are you seeing on film on them? What do you think about the game? How do you think it's going to go? What would you like to tell your fans coming out to come watch us play? Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting a big home crowd, first home game. But like my dad said, they're pretty sound defensively. But uh, we've been practicing pretty good this week. So as long as we execute on Friday, we should be all right. Well, congratulations, Trip, on getting the Division Four. National Player of the Week, and maybe this week we can do the same thing. Thanks for stopping by. When we come back, we'll have Trent Camp, Defensive Player of the Week. Welcome back to the Talk of Football Review. We have Trent Camp here. He's our Defensive Player of the Week. Trent, thanks for coming by and, and business this, uh, this week. Uh, how was the game against Coosa Valley? How did you play? How did the defense play? I know you play linebacker. Had a pick six in the game. Um, just kind of talk about how the defense played and how y'all played this past week. I thought the defense played really well. We just need to cut down the penalties we have with our cornerbacks and DBs. Alignment's getting getting better. I guess our calls and uh, getting our calls in, kind of getting a little bit better than what it has been in the past, right? Going off of what uh, <clears throat> what you said about how the game was, you had a pick six in the game. What did you see? How did you how did you read it? Uh, what kind of happened on that play? Well, I read the back coming out of the backfield and kind of. Played it slow and cut in front of him and ran All it right. back. Uh, also, I saw on film that uh, you had a defensive lineman almost kind of run you down there. He was kind of trucking it pretty hard. Oh, Elijah Elmore, I guess you didn't want him to beat you to the promised land, huh? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, what do you think about Springwood this week facing a wing tee? Uh, what kind of challenges does the defense have this week going into Friday? 
I think it's definitely going to prepare us for TA coming up, and that's going to be a big game. Big game. Well, thanks, Trent, for coming by. This is a Talking Football Review uh, Player of the Week, Trent Camp.